Hey guys, God bless you. I have a word for uh, for those who are trying to conceive, who have been waiting upon the Lord to open your womb, and for you and for your husband who have been waiting, some of you for years, to conceive, um, to get pregnant, and to um, just be, be able to bear children. And the word that I want to start with is giving a testimony Back in the spring of 2021, I shared a video about my testimony and how the Lord opens the closed womb. And so you can go back and listen to that. In that video, I share a testimony of the very first time that the Lord uh, prophesied through me. And I gave a word to a complete uh, someone I just met that she was going to conceive and have a son. And she wept and uh, with joy as she told me that I was the fifth person that weekend to tell her that same prophetic word. And she uh, did conceive. And two years from the time that, sh that I prophesied that over her, she had, she was holding a baby boy in her arms. And so, um, but when I shared the word in the video from the spring of last year, I at the end of the video, I prayed uh, for those who are trying to conceive um, and that I had uh, a particular person in mind as I prayed um, and, and for any others that were coming to my mind, I was praying, but there was a particular one that um, I noticed that within a year had had her had a son and so this woman doesn't even know that she, that I was praying for her as I prayed in that video but I was praying for her that she would conceive and because of the grace and power of God over her she conceived and had a son so I want to share this testimony because um, just like in the previous video the Lord is continually speaking to me about testimony and the power of testimony and us as believers remembering what the Lord has done to give us faith for what he is able to do even in the midst of seemingly hopeless situations and so uh, I want to just bless those who are trying to conceive or waiting upon the Lord for conception with this word as testimony that this word can uh, have power over your life and speak the power of Christ over your womb, that there is nothing impossible for God. And I want to give a couple of encouragement slash wisdom words for you that the Lord brought to mind as I sought him on this. Um, this is a very, this is an important um, topic for me as I, like I said, it was the first word that the Lord prophesied through me was about a conception and birth of a son um, but this is just very near to my heart as I pray often for those trying to conceive but I want to share a couple points first is if you remember the story of Hannah um, in first Samuel she I believe it's the first and second chapters um, this is the mother of Samuel and she has, is waiting for years to have a child uh, the other wife of her husband was um, conceiving and bearing many children and this wife would mock and try to belittle and almost like keep Hannah under her thumb and, and mock at Hannah for um, not being able to bear children. And we know that Hannah cried out to the Lord and said, you know, I want, I want this son, Lord, in her distress said, give me a child and I will dedicate him to you for all of his days. And I believe that is the cry of your heart um, for you husbands and wives who have been trying to conceive that you have told the Lord that very same thing. But in the Lord, the thing that the Lord wanted me to share is to block your ears to the mocking of the, um, I, I don't know how to say her name. I think it's Penina. Penina is the other wife who was mocking Hannah and there are many Paninas, if that's how you say it, in your in your life that maybe will mock or condescend or even with good intent try to um, talk you out of um, crying out to the Lord and believing that the Lord can do a miracle and open the womb. Um, and but I, specifically when it comes to mockery or condescension, just to shut out those lies and those voices because the Lord 
never mocks. The Lord never condescends his children. And so that's not the voice of the Lord. And I just want to encourage you to stay in love and do not pick up a fence toward them, to, toward those people, but to reject and close your ears up to any sort of mockery like that. Um, and the other thing that the Lord brought to my uh, mind as I prayed for you guys is specifically to guard your heart against bitterness toward the Lord and any sort of comparison or competition um, or even bitterness toward women around you who are not having trouble conceiving. Um, bitterness is an open door for the enemy to get in and wreak havoc and to um, just have access to um, just kind of barrage your mind and with more fear and more distress and so we want to block and close off all doors to the enemy and the biggest way to do that I believe is to say no to bitterness or comparison um, and to not get bitter toward the Lord but to continually cry out to him the, the word says that he sees all of your tears and hears all of your cries and none of them go wasted upon his ears and so remember that and do not let the enemy get into let bitterness in. So I just want to bless you and say, Lord, I just lift up my sisters and their husbands, and my brothers who are waiting, some of them for years to conceive and to have children of, um, out of their own womb. I pray, Lord, that you would supernaturally by your hand of power uh, touch and open their wombs and that you would um, accelerate their wombs in this hour. I pray uh, that you would, by the blood of Jesus, I break off all hindrances over them. And I thank you, Lord, that you are healing them from any bitterness or comparison. And you're um, reminding them of the truth so that those lies of mockery toward them can be washed off. And I just decree all these things in the name of Jesus over them today. Amen.